Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, collective. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for the collective flip and switch to energy type of resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out in this collective reading. Anything you need to know about me will be down below, such as my booking link and my websites. Let's see what does the universe want you to know. The magician, your desires are within your reach. What are your intentions for yourself or those around you? What would you like to do? What would you like to create? There could also be some form of magic as well. Let's see. Virgo and Gemini energy for the collective. What's the T? We got four pentacles. Someone could be very possessive over you, holding back. Someone's heart chakra could be could be blocked. Capricorn energy. Um, there could be some greed, some need, a need to save as well. Some money here. Someone could be saving. Someone could be holding on to your person energetically or in the real world. They keep showing up. It could be like a nagging ex that doesn't want to release someone, or a nagging partner where things are not going well. But let's see. Some of you need to be more conservative. Someone's not willing to let you go as well, or this is you in regards to like they truly care for you, not the possessive version of that. What else for the collective? We got the Queen of Swords. This is you needing boundaries for you feminine energies. For some of you men, you could be concerned about how guarded a feminine energy is, um, how cutthroat, how logical she is. Take no shit. Uh, she could have definitely been very stern about something she likes could have get, could have given you an ultimatum for some of you or oh, this is you let's see we will clarify what's the energy for the collective please the chariot cancer energy so for some of you this woman is concerned about where this is going or oh, this is you and this energy um some of you need to be stern about your endeavors what successes are you creating for yourself there could be an ex from your from your past for you men or masculine energies here holding you back creating conflict bringing drama into your life okay another scenario is boundaries and the ability to have a tunnel vision about moving forward and holding back from those that mean you no good again we will clarify um some of you could be loaning your car to someone that's very specific they're taking advantage of you and you need to have boundaries damn all right let's see what else for the collective overcoming obstacles and adversities as well but you need boundaries and stop letting people take advantage of you and hold you back temperance peace harmony resolution reconciliation for some of you or some of you are seeking peace. Two major arcanas, chariot to the temperance, Sagittarius energy, if I did not say, for this uh, temperance. Some of you could be earth angels. You're here to do something different in life uh, to show someone how to find peace and be an inspiration for someone's healing journey. Yeah, so Spirit gave me a download with banishing. Some of you need to banish these energies spiritually, like spell work. In order to find peace in your life, this could also be a situation of you removing yourself from toxicity and what no longer serves you emotionally. It could be a job as well. You could want or desire to be in a more peaceful workplace environment or where something is more light work. Some of you could want to go into a driving business as well. Some of you are being guided to simply walk away, eight of cups, or have the emotional intelligence to see a situation for what it truly is or who someone truly is. All right. Let's see. What else? Anything else before I clarify? The Five of Swords, the Devil, and the Page of Pentacles. The Five of Swords and the Devil is major, major hostilities and even black magic for some of you. Let's put that over there. But we got a Leo. Luther Van Draws, I believe, is a Leo. For sure. Here and now, though, someone has tunnel vision, like I said. Could want to give you an offer with the page of pentacles. Someone could be studying something. Someone wants to go back to school. Someone could be looking into your life, projecting negativity. 
hostilities, trying to get someone to walk away from you as well. Let's clarify. Capricorn energy, Aquarius energy, Pisces with the Eight of Cups, Divine Timing with the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Pentacles, you in partnership with Spirit. They're working together for your highest good. But let's clarify with a tarot. Cut the deck on the Empress, Taurus, and Libra energy, and the Hermit is on the other side. Virgo, this is reflection, introspection, um, about the type of energies you want around you, the ability to create, figuring out what you want for you, what serves you, and what does not, especially when it comes to endeavors here, what you want to create with the Empress. Some of you masculine energies are reevaluating women, could have even ghosted or pulled back from a woman that is yours, spiritually speaking, she's your other half. But let's see. There could be someone married as well. Someone could have ghosted their twin. Or a twin flame has awakened them. Taurus energy again with the Hierophant and the Empress. This is a spiritual leader, this feminine energy as well. She's very inspiring to not only her divine counterpart, but uh, because the Hierophant is the Emperor, um, divine masculine. The Empress is the High Priestess, divine feminine. So definitely a soul connection here. Uh, for a lot of you, she definitely could have been very inspirational too. I said that with this temperance to her other half, but to others as well. This devil energy could be coming at this empress. What else is new? Let's clarify. What's the tea? And all this hostilities, Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, gradually working towards something, consistency. Or persistence. What's the four of pentacles for the collective? Happy birthday to any cancer here of high vibrations. Shouts out to y'all. What's this four of pentacles? Falling over the queen of swords. The four of pentacles is the five of pentacles. This is becoming a sense of lag. Someone has financial issues too. Finances play a major factor in your life at this time in every aspect, especially financially. Um, someone could feel like they're not good enough. They don't have enough to offer you. So they could be saving. They could be holding back. Um, this could also be emotional. Like they don't have the emotions to offer you. So they're hold holding back. Could have left you out in the cold, ghosted you, like I said. Um, some of you are wondering, should you stay in a situation or should you go? It's, it's not enough. You're not getting enough. You're not giving enough. You could feel bad about that as well. Mm. Heavy earth with the cap Capricorn. And the five of pentacles. So. Some of you need to hold back from people that drain you. Emotionally. Financially. And spiritually. Someone's very possessive. They don't want to let you go. They don't want you to leave them out in the cold. Someone could be down on their look. Looking at the illustration behind the scenes. It's like someone is coming in as a helping hand. Clarifying a four of pentacles. Mm. So let me make this clear. Someone definitely has financial issues. They may not be able to give you anything for some of you. I feel like it's also a relationship. Like they can't give you nothing or anything. Star, they got to heal. This is lack and poverty mentality. What's the queen of swords? Falling right where it needs to be. The five of cups. Regret, remorse, and disappointments. If you have somehow become very disappointing in how someone has treated you, you need boundaries. You need uh, to speak clearly about what you stand for, what you will not, and what you are capable of handling and tolerating. Um, Scorpio energy. Lots of regret here as well. I feel emotional loss. Some of you women are now in this guarded energy based on previous experience or a male has been hurt by a cutthroat, lack of affection uh, type of woman. And now he needs to heal from this energy here. And someone could have given a lot of finances to someone just to get hurt. So now they're very guarded and timid. There's a woman here that is newly single as well. Her emotions are very distorted. Five of Pentacles to the Five of Cups. She even has misplaced her blame. Mm -hmm. uh, basically what I mean by that, taking ownership for what she did accept. 
due to lack of boundaries with the uh, Queen of Swords and um, the Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, you allow the bare minimum for some of you. Someone wants to get back in the energy of this Queen of Swords and they know good and damn well it's going to take a, um, a large apology, large size, super size. They want to give you an offer. Or they feel bad for not offering you something. They regret it. Some of you could be a speaker in the public eye as well. You could have spoke, you could have spoken something. You could have said something that brought a realization to their regret. Chariot. What oh, is you feeling this energy? Queen of Swords again. <laughs> I ain't lying. I just got two different decks. That's all. Two different decks. She was like, speak or get cut. I'll hear you. If I don't like it, I will slice you. It's the energy of the card. Cherry, in order to move forward, I repeat, a lot of those things that I mentioned, either you have to become this energy, stand up for your peace, stand up for yourself, boundaries, or some of you men have to overcome this energy. She mistreated you. Okay, you got to heal from that and continue to move forward. The cherry is overcoming obstacles. Some of you have maternal issues. There was a mother here that lacked affection or some kind of female guardian. Some of you women are newly single. This is your new beginning. A new divorcee or newly single mother, single whatever. Um, time to move forward. Some of you men are ready to go towards this queen of swords energy, but you know she not playing. You know it. You know she not finna play with you. Some of you men feel like you're running out of time, so you could be in a hurry. Because she has said something. This queen of swords has said something that caused someone to feel like they need to get the step in. Chariot. Some of you need clear boundaries on someone coming at you. They're moving very fast. Multiple scenarios. So for the sake of a repeated tarot card, I want to make sure I clarify that when we're done. What's temperance? The moon is here. There's something repressed and hidden. All right. About whether or not someone's newly single or their success is all legit. If they haven't scammed anyone, so on and so forth. King of swords, queen of swords. Could be a divine couple. Could be a power struggle between two strong-minded individuals as well. Temperance. What tried to jump out is the three of wands and the ace of swords. A breakthrough and moving forward and expansion. What's going on with my ear? What's temperance? That ain't peaceful at all. Yeah, at all. In the flow. Yes, it is. Six of swords. Someone's spirit guides is here. Some of you are a guide. You're a living earth angel. Meaning you're a living spirit guide here in the earthly realm. Yeah. And you're in partnership with spirit. Three of pentacles. You work for the divine. For some of you. Hell yeah. Some of you could be twin flames. Or one part of a twin flame. Mm. This is peace, harmony, and alignment. Temperance in the six of swords. This is a beautiful energy. Right here in the center. Now. Okay. Let's get another clarification. What's the temperance with the six of swords? Some of you are guided to move away from a home. Move out of a home. Change cities. Change locations. Or change your circle. A transition to find peace and balance in your life. Temperance. Sideways. Knight of swords. Falling over five of cups. Impulse moving too fast. Someone is blocked from astral traveling into your energy now as well. You have boundaries up for someone. Interesting. I like that. All right. So some of you are procrastinating. You regret it. You need to stand firm on your boundaries and not get distracted. Some of you gave your all to this feminine energy. And it derails you and threw you off your game. You're being guided to move forward and heal from it. Temperance to the Six of Swords. Aquarius, Sagittarius, heavy air. 
a lot of mind activity. All right, so decisive action, they regret leading you along, stringing you along, leading you, misleading you, leading you in the wrong direction for some of you. This could have been an a ex for a lot of you, for sure. Like an ex-husband or like a long-term partner. Some of you spent the better of your teens and 20s with someone. Been with them a long time. You lost yourself a long time ago. Or you became what this person needed you to be. That's very deep. Um, for some of you, someone is losing their shit trying to get into your energy. Your guides won't let them. You found peace. You're at peace. Six of Swords to the Temperance. I'm trying to see why this Knight of Swords fell over the Five of Cups so perfectly. Bad Habits, Maxwell, he's a Gemini. Heavy Air, Fool Card. There's a clean slate here. Either you have to claim it or uh, own it. You could be in it. Knight of Swords sideways. Why? Justice. Hell yeah. Libra energy and the King of Pentacles. Some of you, you have another partner uh, ready to be with you, spend some time with you, get to know you, take care of you, or build with you. But your ex is in your energy, rather energetically, or they keep popping up. Or this is you. You could be the popper upper. You could be the one ready to build. There's an, there's an external interference here. Let's take it back. What's the Four of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles? Eight of Cups, which is right here. Spirit telling me to move forward. Justice for whatever this is. Reciprocation, balance, taking accountability, making it right, getting a divorce, everything working out in your favor in regards to legal legalities. Peaceful workplace environment. If you have a lawsuit, a harassment claim, anything going on in the workplace is going to work out in your favor. Justice. Any pending divorces are going to work out in your favor. Justice. Anyone that's been coming into your energy with this devil and his five of swords, that's going to work out in your favor. They're getting karma. You're getting balance. You're getting peace and justice justice just period and what's the eight of cups which has shown up twice someone has abandonment issues which caused them to make certain decisions that were unhealthy for them some of you have walked away from someone that was not giving or for some of you they regret letting you go now that you're gone five of cups to you eight of cupping and five and five of pentacle five of pen <laughs> five of pentacling them those are not words i'm just saying so you walked away you left it alone it wasn't given now they're ready to give. They regret not giving for some of you. And this can be on a on a scale of toxic, very low. They should have gave when, when you were there. Very high. Someone's obsessed with your energy and they are doing spell work to get back in it for some of you. And in a, in a medium of that scale, your ex just won't let you go. They keep popping up, knocking at your door. They want to fuck. They want to heal it. They want to make it right. Take accountability. Some of you, someone's still in a marriage that's unhealthy. That person keeps trying to do better. And keep that person there. Some of you with spells and stuff. But some of you, they say, let's go to counseling. Let's go to therapy. Temperance. Six of swords. Let someone be a mediator for us. All right. What's the eight of cups? I got my Libra son here. We have Libra with the justice. So some of you are definitely dealing with a Libra. You have a very important Libra placement. The eight of cups is the five of swords. You walked away from hostilities. It's here twice. So my Capricorn son is bursting out. Stop. So you could be tired of someone bringing conflict into your life, whether spiritually and energetically, or this person keeps showing up like they want to fix it. They want to right their wrongs. They want to make it work. Like I just said, they want to resolve conflict in the same household that things were not so great in. Or this is an ex from your past or your person's past that randomly pops up wanting to fix it every time you start working on yourself and getting your shit together heavy aquarius and heavy pisces don't have to be a sun sign it could be a moon arising it's an important placement but it does not have to be the message is hostilities is what you were walking away from and it could keep showing up for you someone's envious someone's jealous someone's mad that you left this behind or that you even want to leave it behind some of you are currently sleeping with the enemy and every time you think about someone's doing tarot every time you think about moving forward 
they look into your future will of fortune what's going on what's next for them what's the blueprint three of pentacles how can i stop it block it devil to the five of swords seriously for some of you it ain't that deep this person just don't want you to be done with them completely they want access to you but you know what they're doing they're blocking you from something or someone that is more peaceful and aligned with your path all right what is the page of pentacles for the collective the fool time to move forward for a clean slate and focus on you some of you are going back to school some of you want to start fresh in a brand new beginning someone's trying to see who's coming towards you what's coming towards you or for some of you empress energies you could be a reader you need to jump into this this path become your best self some of you men are being drawn to this person you're learning from a empress energy you're learning about starting fresh taking what you got bare minimum clean slate brand new beginning leaps of faith having hope for new beginnings but it requires you to leave your past behind i really feel like some of you are learning with the student of the page of pentacles on um, yes she's a spiritual leader on how to move forward how to take action and pursue your passions and where you went wrong and where you were impulsive or they're learning from you however it go someone could be pregnant as well they want to start over they're using that as some kind of token of getting back together lord have mercy um they already have a child with this person the empress could be symbolic for a mother a baby's mother someone has maternal issues too but i'm clarifying the fool let's solidify what's the fool falling over the page of pentacles six of wands this is good energy a brand new beginning is yours if you take the leap of faith to go forward there's a will of fortune again i'm on it it's time for a shift. The tables are turning. That's an old cycle. Stop letting it resurface. Let's solidify this Queen of Swords that came out twice. Real quick. And I'm going to get to this Devil and Five of Swords. Say the worst energy for last. That's black magic. Or oh, someone is very toxic and abusive. Narcissistic. Five of Swords and the Devil. What's the chariot and the queen of swords? Regret, repression. They feel bad. Suffering in silence. Blocking thoughts and memories. Someone feels bad for how they treated this queen of swords energy. She's in this queen of swords energy now because she has boundaries and she's not playing with whoever this is. She may even give someone an ultimatum. Some of you have dealt with this queen of swords energy. You repress about someone that was uneasy to deal with. They were abrasive emotionally. They hurt you. They lacked affection. There's a male, a masculine, that needs to heal. What is his energy on the chariot? He got to overcome these things that he has over that he has dealt. He's already overcome them, but he has to truly overcome them by taking action, moving forward, solid, observing, blocking emotions, wearing a mask, secretive. Like I said, it's getting redundant. If he truly wants a new beginning, he's got to heal from his past and deal with the energy of this new queen of swords energy that's not playing with him. What is you? And when I say not playing with him, this woman is serious about her life. She's very clear and direct about what she wants, how she feels, and what she expects. That's intimidating because he's experienced some kind of toxic, low vibrational partnership before. Or this is you. But the energy is moving forward regardless. Someone's trying to block someone from move, moving forward as well. That's also a scenario. But the energy was a successful triumph of overcoming obstacles in a brand new beginning with the fool and a page of pentacles because you've learned a lesson. The page of pentacles is learning a student. You've learned a lesson with the will of fortune showing up twice. Let's get to this devil and the five of swords so I can close the reading and cleanse my energy. Let's get it. Why? why someone wants you closed off they want to block something from someone from coming towards you or block you from going towards another you no longer speak to them they're jealous they want to block your path and your abundance what else they want you guarded and closed off and not open to love 
They want you unhealed so that they can continue to attack you energetically and get into your energetic field. If you moping and woe is me, they can do everything they want to do to you energetically. Some of you, this person doesn't want you to heal because that means you truly leave them behind. Eight of Cups came out twice. Someone wants you backtracking, going in circles. Someone doesn't want you to heal and be done with them. That means they have nothing else to do. They have no other victims unless they go find a new one. But you were their favorite victim. You kept letting them back. Ooh, this is deep. What's this? Devil and the five of swords. Stability, trying to create imbalance, uncertainties. They want you to juggle. They want you to have financial issues. You've closed the cycle out the world. They're not happy about that. Whoever this is, toxic, low vibrational energy. They're making things hard for you. It can be as subtle as, I thought we were supposed to exchange our kid at this time. I thought you were going to meet me here at this parent teacher's conference. I thought we were going to meet at my parents. They just don't show up. They never on time. And they always reading it. They're making it hard. They're making it difficult. Little shit like that. I thought you was giving me $30 for this, for this bill. Whatever it is, they ain't got it. They want to make it hard on you. I thought you was helping me with my car. No, they're not helping you. They don't want to help you. I thought you were going to leave me alone energetically because this relationship was done. No, they don't want you to be done. They want access to you. And they want to block the rest of your life. What else? Is this devil and a five of swords? Oh, you could be this devil and a five of swords. And I hope you perish. Devil and a five of swords. Moon. Renewal. Sacral chakra. That's the energy vampire. That devil. Someone that keeps attaching themselves to your sacral energy because they want all of this abundance. They want all of this life that you bring. They want to revitalize their energy. Everything is not as it seems. Some of you have rose-tinted glasses where a person is wearing a mask. It's deceit. They want you fearful. The devil is also fearful. They want you in that distorted energy with the inner child healing. Emotional blockages. They want to get in your head. Narcissistic tendency. Subconscious. I'm clarifying the devil and the five of swords. Need I go on? You can, If you have a person in your life that you can identify as this energy, eight of motherfucking cups. What's the eight of cups? Emotional intelligence and walking away will no longer emotionally aligns with you or serves. What else is this devil in a five of swords? It's someone that you dated. It's a soulmate. It's a soul tie. Could be a Gemini. Don't have to be. And they're trying to block your union and your actual masculine from coming towards you. Or you're this masculine being blocked by someone's devilish past. Awareness is key. What else is the devil? It's time for you to tap into your higher self because your higher self has been telling you who the fuck your enemy is and how do you best move forward from whoever this is or whatever this is in your life. Stop backtracking. Stop letting your enemy run circles around you. Enemies can be friends, family, lovers, co-workers, or foe. Just stop it. You know what serves you and what does not. 